Right, I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claws. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, the Mike? Disappointments. I experienced grand uh, success and high levels of right. grand disappointments on really low natives, right? And um, so they're gonna make you not as scared. No, person. yeah, it doesn't because I, I know in order to um, in order to be great, uh -huh. you know what I mean. You gotta be prepared to fail greatly as well. You know what I mean. It's all about how you handle the failures. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I'm good at handling failures. Yeah. You know, like, for instance, if I thought that I could be Mike Tyson, tough, strong, black kid from Brownsville, Brooklyn, I can go and beat these experienced fighters that have been, world, been national and world champions since they were kids and stuff in the amateurs, and I can get go out here with my little 25 or 30 amateur fights and compete with these guys and become great in the heavyweight professional ranks too? No. I had to look at myself greater than I actually was and believe that I was greater than I actually was. He's somewhat of a, you know, a contentious warlord, a, a giant, a bigger than any gladiator could ever imagine. I could take on Achilles or Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. Being that person, I'm invincible. Right. Being Mike Tyson, tough guy from Brooklyn, no, I'm, I'm just a black guy that's gonna get beat eventually. And life is all about a bluff. It's almost like playing cards, like I say more so than, um, I say more so than I say shooting dice, yeah. you know, because you can change dice and stuff, but they can't, they're hard, they can't mold, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You just gotta, if you, if you just shoot and you shoot, cards can bend, yeah. cards can bend like life, us yeah. in life, we can bend, mm -hmm. and even though we got a bad hand, that don't mean we're gonna lose the fucking game, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. We're gonna stay in there, we're gonna hold it to the end, uh -huh. and it's the same way in fighting, yeah. and in life, because we were born in swallows and sewers and gutters, that don't mean we're gonna stay there and we have the desire and willpower and perseverance to be able to endure the pain. Yeah. We gotta endure that pain. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at me, everybody likes me now. Yeah. I'm the last man standing.
here to introduce, listen, we were talking about, we were talking about, hey brother, that's what I'm like, well, listen, we were talking about Floyd, and listen, we all got to believe we're the greatest of all times, right? We all got to believe that, but we all know Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all times. So we all got to believe we are, and um, this has truly been, um, this has truly been, a, this is like, um, I would really have to explain, this is my finest hour really, to really, um, small inclination that I will become a fighter because I'm in a, I'm a really bad kid. I'm from Brownville, Brooklyn. If, if you, 13% um, of us, maybe 3% of us go to college in Brownville. But listen, but this is the whole thing. Um, I was in the for you, not the 10% because I'm from Brownville, of course, I'm from Brownville. I'm gonna rob or kill you or steal from you and stuff. And um, so I'm in a juvenile detention home. And so they were, they were kind to us one particular day and they let us watch a movie. It was the greatest. So I'm 12, this is 1978. I'm incarcerated in 78. All right, so it's 1978, I'm near. And we watched the movie, The Greatest. The movie's great, we start crying, it's inspirational. And then lights come on, Muhammad Ali comes in the reformatory. I say, whoa, man, this is, what is, I can't believe this stuff. The last time I ever saw him, like, on television fighting, it was, I think, Leon Spinks, and I was pickpocketing somebody, but I was watching the fight, but I was, I got that wallet, though. But still, I'm going to make this short, listen. So, um, Muhammad Ali comes in, and that moment, I say, I want to be something like this guy, because everybody, you know, the guys that used to brutalize us, you know, the security guards, the guards, yeah, the kicks us, those of them. When Ali came in, they were like women. <gasps> and I said, wow, how can I make these guys do that to me? And um, eventually, um, unfortunately, I met, I met Customato. I started fighting. And so Customato, I'm, I'm, he had the same birthday as Muhammad Ali, January 17th. I was saying, I'm going to give you a Customato Muhammad Ali tough guy story. Muhammad Ali, Customato. They see Muhammad Ali, he looks more like a model than a fighter. And, um, Cuss has this old ass double barrel shotgun. He said, you see my shotgun? You see Ali? I open both, both barrels, boom! And if, um, if he have anything left, anything left after those both, I better move, cause something's coming back. And um, that's what, um, that's how I look at Mom and Ali. I look at him like, any Mustafa looks at him? Um, he's the constellation to our solar system, to our soul. Yeah. And um, I had the opportunity to see the greatest fighting guard put on earth. There's no man that can ever beat him twice. And that's what a fighter is. And him being a fighter was not his, him overcoming adversity, um, emotional quagmire, um, taking sacrifice, sacrificing for other people. When um, a man that's conscious to know that the world is bigger than him. I'm not conscious to know that. I think I'm bigger than the world when I'm in my dean. When I'm on, when I'm going, I'm on top of my game. I'm a monster. There's nothing. I, I consume everything, and that's not a champion. The champion he doesn't consume. He he releases and gives everything, and um, that's what Muhammad Ali was. He quintessentialized champion.